peace and I'm here in the place with Katya and Ava and who else? Isabel, evening who else is here and where are you from? Jose is here from Brazil, Nevis from Italy. Breno is here from Brazil, good to see you. Romania is here, Poland, this is that time where we can't talk, say the names anymore, there are just too many coming by. We'll try to get the countries if we can. Ukraine is here. United States, Morocco. Anna, no sound, come out, go back, out, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> leave and come back. We have Belarus here. Katya, you know, I'm one side of my family is in Belarus way back when. Puerto Rico is here. South Africa. Anna's the US via China. <laughs> Spain. Fantastic. 37 people here, more on the way. Penny's here from England. Anna's here from Lima, Peru. We have Dr. Nellie Deutsch here for a makeup class. She's already chatting away. She's in the light blue there. Reminding everyone, if you can't hear, refresh, go out. If you come back, you still have a problem hearing or seeing, try a different browser. You never know. Firefox, Chrome, Internet Explorer. Try another one. That could help you. So Dr. Nellie is here. Dr. Nellie, how many of you know Dr. Nellie Deutsch? Let's hear, see a thumbs up or yes or no. If you don't know her, you're in for a major treat tonight. <laughs> for two reasons, many more than two. One is uh, she's a great presenter, great person, great friend, all that great stuff. But also because we're here to learn how to get into teaching online uh, or you're teaching online and you need more knowledge and experience to really get going. Well, this is Dr. Nellie's specialty. So she does lots of teacher training and development on teaching online, especially uh, with the WizIQ platform. So we all can benefit a lot, not only from what she's doing tonight, because uh, it's a very specialized uh, area she's focusing on here, very important one, but we definitely want to peruse all of the different stuff Dr. Nellie is doing in IQ and hopefully she'll share a little bit of that tonight and I'll be talking more about classes you can join with Dr. Nelly to learn more about the Wiz IQ platform. Dr. Nelly Deutsch, are you with us? Yes, I am. There she is. Hello, everybody. Uh, She's magic. I'm magic. She beams She's, in. I just appear. Well, thank you, Jason. Thank you for all that. And um, I just want to tell everybody that this is about you. And when I say you, I include Jace, because everything that Jace and I and others are doing in this uh, MOOC, all the presenters, have one thing in common. And that is, they are interested in getting you to do exactly what they do. And I think Jace can uh, say that for sure. Right, Jace? Wouldn't you like others to do what you're doing? Uh, yeah, and, and the, the things, there are a lot of areas where I lack expertise and uh, know-how, and one of those is technology. There are people like Dr. Nelly who, and there are people in this MOOC that know more than I do. On the other hand, there are things that I know about uh, that I can help you with, and yes, what Dr. Nelly is saying there's a way to get anybody who's a very passionate teacher, we have lots of them, uh, teachers who engage students, to get them to do just that online, uh, whether it's with WizIQ or somewhere else. We hope it's with WizIQ. Uh, and we're here to help you do that. So, yes, totally agree. All right. So, thank you, Jace. All right. I want you to take a look at these uh, simple sentences. Um, we are different. We want to be happy. We have moods. We take our thoughts seriously, and we can have it all. And that's where I'm coming from, all right? That's actually my philosophy of life. And it's not only my. A little bit about me as you think about these things, and we'll come back to it. I um, do a lot of things, but what I have in mind is getting teachers together online so that they can do the kind of things 
that they were meant to do, and that is teach to the world. And not only teach the world, but make money, because that's what we want to do. And again, getting back to this, we may be different, as Jay said. Some of us may have skills in this and that, but that's not important. We all want to be happy. And some of the things that keep us from being happy is when we misinterpret our moods, make decisions when we're not happy, and take our thoughts seriously when they're only thoughts. And that's how we are preventing ourselves from having it all. So I want you to think as we go. This presentation is for all teachers, every one of the teachers that I have come in contact with online. All of my so-called students are actually teachers. So this is for all teachers that I have connected with in the past 20 years, I would say, online, and how they can do much more than they actually realize. So it's about e-leadership for educators around the world. Now, when I say, say that, what do you think of? I mean, what's the first thing that comes to mind when I say that you can lead online and become a leader? And that means a lot of followers. So leader with followers, because if you don't have followers, it's going to be very hard to lead. So what do you think of? Just give me a smiley, thumbs up, thumbs down, anything that comes to mind when you think of what I'm offering you for free. Okay, so what do you think of? You get a smile there, Katya, thumbs up. I can't hear you. Okay, that's bad. All right, so Jason's going to help that. If anybody can't hear, Jason, you're in the background there. Okay, so we've got smileys, stars. All right, so anybody not happy with that? All right, so most of you, all of you, I would say, would love to have that, right? And it's really, really easy. I'm going to walk you through how I started and what got me into teaching online, which is um, something that we can all do. Everyone who's here can teach online, no matter what, without any kind of uh, special training in technology. All you have to do is want to share and have a passion for other people. In other words, you have to like people. Uh, to do this. Well, I decided to find out how teachers were using technology. So I conducted a research. And what I found out was that English teachers were at the top. In other words, English teachers are really, really passionate about using technology in their face-to-face -face universities. This was done in university. And the question that I asked them, well, how's it going? And the responses that I got were not too well, okay? In other words, my institution is not that keen on technology. Parents are not that happy with technology. In fact, I'm the only one excited, and my students, excited about using technology in my teaching and learning, okay? And I said, wow, in other words, you are leaders in your school, but you don't have any followers in your school. So what are you doing? Well, they told me we're online and we're teaching the world. We're teaching our students. We're connecting our face-to-face -face students with other students from around the world, with other teachers that are crazy like us. And this was five years ago only five years ago. Today, just give me a thumbs up. Are you using technology in your school? Thumbs up. Thumbs down if you're not. All right, so everyone is in a face-to-face -face school. That's great. Great. Wonderful. Samir is not. All right, great. Look how many teachers are using technology. You are leaders. You're innovators. You are special. So give yourself a star, okay? Give yourself a star because you are super. You are my heroes. And I would gladly follow you. Awesome, awesome. 
because that's what it's about. It's about teaching not just one or two students, but teaching masses, anyone, everyone, whoever wants to learn. And it takes this leading from inside out. In other words, something inside you is causing you to do this. And Jace, if you could add and everybody else, what is causing you to want to get out there and teach everyone? Whether you're sharing information on Facebook, Twitter, this is teaching and it's leading other people. So you're all leaders, basically. Okay, so what is driving you? What makes you want to go out there and share information? What? Helping others learn without pay. Yeah, that's nice, Nevis. Excellent. Passion. Where does it come from? Create a change. Excellent, Samir. Creativity. Exactly. And think about you. You're wonderful. That's amazing to learn more about myself. That's great, Tim. Passion. Create uh, synergies. Make a difference. Now, think about this. How many people around the world would be saying this? Teachers. That's what makes teachers. Teachers are born leaders. There's something in you giving people options, variety, encouragement. Have you ever thought about this? How great you are? What wonderful people you are? What you're doing is amazing. So you're leading and it's coming from the inside. Something in you is driving you to empower others, to give others. And one great way of doing this is online. Because on, well, you tell me, why is teaching online giving you so much? No, you're not crazy. You're beautiful, Nevis. All of, all of you are. We all are because of what we do. And we should be patting and hugging ourselves and being proud of what we do. And you can do more. Of course you can do more. But don't be hard on yourself. Be happy with what you're doing. I think they're... Hi, my husband just came after two weeks. I haven't seen him from Korea. So I'm going to go and give him a kiss. Just a sec. And a hug. All right. So that, that's a little family affair there. Uh, yeah, he was in Korea and he was supposed to be there for less than it turned out to be for longer than a week. Kiss cap. Yeah. All right. So getting back to this. Teaching online. Teaching online offers you a chance to reach a lot of people. So you can actually, if you're frustrated with with you know, your schools and you want to do more, as someone mentioned here, that's how you do it. Now, what's great about teaching online is this little thing. It provides you with a chance to connect with people face to face. Now, I don't know how many of you have met people that you had connected with online first. If you could just share in the chat box, is there one person that you connected with face to face Anyone that you had previously met online? Online means on the internet, on the internet line. Yeah, Jason and I met. We did. And I miss that. I miss hugging Jace. I, I miss having Jace in my space, in my physical space. Because once you meet face to face, you never, ever want to leave one another. So Iona, you haven't? All right. Webheads, that's right. You've met each other and then you've known each other for years, right? Webheads have been around since 2003 or four. And Arivas, 2006. 2006, well, I've been there before. All right. So actually teaching online or connecting online for learning, which is what we do, right? is a wonderful way to get to know one another. You become super close when you're online. 
super close. I met a few people. I went to a um, a course uh, on what was it on July first was Monday. Something with the British uh, Council. I walk in there and somebody comes up to me and says, "Hey, Nelly, what are you doing here?" I said, "Who are you?" He says, "I'm Leo." I said, "What do you mean you're Leo? Leo, what Leo? Leo? You came to my class, online class, my webinar." And you disrupted me in the chat box. I said, who, me? Do I disrupt in the chat box? Does Nelly ever dis ever do anything in the chat box that's a bit much? Do I distract anybody in the chat box? All the time. Exactly, Tom. And people love it, by the way. So he says, yeah. Anyways, this guy knew everything about me. He walked around the British Council. He kept saying, we've got a famous person. We've got a famous person. I didn't know who he was talking about until I realized that he was talking about me. In other words, you become like a celebrity. You become well known. And I was kind of shocked. But that's what happens when you teach online and you the word spreads out. And then people, when they meet you, they go nuts. And I'm sure Jason, you know, can tell you about that. All right? Which means that you really get close to people. This guy felt close to me, and I didn't know who he was until, you know. But yeah, people feel very close to you when they have been in your session online or when they communicated with you about learning, instruction and learning. I'm not talking about other areas because I don't know anything about that. Okay, I'm not talking about uh, socializing for you know, non-learning purposes, all right? And then when they meet you, they know you, they feel like, well, I know you, all right? So this is wonderful because when you think of technology, you think of something cold, like, you know, driving a car. You know, you don't connect with 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 your car, do you? You think of something cold and, and not very personal. But online teaching with technology is super, super personal and it's very very I mean think of you think of you who have gotten to know one another through the courses that you take and you do become super close so online really brings you into a face-to-face -face mode and I hope that in the future we'll all meet and it won't be that expensive to travel from one place to another um, Last week, I was at a conference in Tampere, Finland. And this is not me talking. This is me relaxing before my session uh, with Dr. Ludmilla Smirnova. Dr. Ludmilla Smirnova, I don't know if she's here today. She was here yesterday, but um, something happened to the session, so we had to uh, reschedule. We met in a WizIQ chat in 2008 or 2007. I think 2008. So it's been how many years since 2008? If you could just add the number in the chat box so that I know that you uh, are here with us. 2008. Thank you, Tom. Anybody else? 2008. How many years is that? Let's see if um, anybody have another number. All right. So we're all with six years. Exactly. It's been six years. She came to my graduation without having seen me. She drove eight hours with it. Well, her husband drove eight hours from New Jersey to Pittsburgh to meet this woman that had come to her session and distracted her in the chat box. Eight hours to a stranger that she had communicated with online. And, ever si and then we went out, of course. And anyways, after that, we kept seeing one another. We said, well, one time is not enough. So we started going to conferences together, presenting, writing books, articles, you name it, we've been doing it. And we're really, really close. In fact, do you see this top? What do you think of what I'm wearing? Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. You have a right to dislike and like, you know, whatever. Uh, can you see the, can you see what I'm wearing? Well, can you see it? Yeah. Uh, this is from Ludmilla. And you're not going to believe this. I mean, like, we were two strangers. And there we were in Tampere presenting, of course, doing a workshop on WizIQ and so on. And we went shopping because it was really cold. It was hailing 
in Finland, in Tampere. So we went shopping to get some warmer clothes. So we found something for Ludmilla, a little sweet jacket. And then she said, Nelly, and we went into the uh, fitting room and she said, Nelly, she took off her top. She said, take off your top. And we have husbands, right? We're not, we're just close friends. Take off your top. And she put this on and she said, I just bought it. It's yours. So this is Ludmilla's. I mean, sisters, that's how close we are. And not because, you know, we're special people. It's just that we connected online. And we presented, not on her work, on my work. In other words, it doesn't matter whose work it is. And these are the people, okay? The human touch, exactly, Katya. And that's what I want you to get across to those who come to your sessions, whether you bring them from your face-to-face, -face, you know, your neighbors. Get your neighbors to come into your online class. And then you'll become close or anybody, all right? So these, this is a workshop that we gave. There's Ludmilla, there I am. We even had a blind student. I'm, some of you may have seen this. We've got somebody from Barbados, from Turkey, Nelly, Finland, Mexico, just this small group, Singapore, Finland, and Switzerland. Different languages, different backgrounds. But you didn't feel that. We were all super connected, super connected, face to face, even though we had never met online before. But now we're going to be connected even more. So when you teach online, you change. You change. These people were very shy before we started the hands-on on how to use technology. Very shy. But they connected because they were using technology in the classroom. They were using Poodle. How many of you have heard of Poodle? Because of the, our blind student, um, everybody thought it would be appropriate to have Poodle. Well, Poodle has a microphone. So everybody introduced themselves online using this Poodle, this, mic this um, technology, all right? This, this Poodle was created by Justin Hunt, who is an English language teacher, but he's also a programmer, okay? He's originally from uh, New Zealand, but he's been living in Japan for years. What I'm trying to say is that technology connects. Do you recognize any of these people? This one is a superstar. Do you know who this guy is? I first met him online, and then he started sending me his books. He's very well known. He's from Indiana University. He gets 700, 800 people in his virtual classes, Jason. 800! Would you believe that? When he does his MOOCs. He's really, really popular popular in the education world, but he's a very personal guy, very, very open. Yes, 800. He, his name is Curtis, or I call him Kurt Bonk. Look him up. The guy's amazing. So we went out. I don't know if you know anybody else here. Uh, we went out. This lady here, her name is Dorit Moore. She was uh, Dogiamis, Martin Dogiamis, who in who developed um, Moodle, she was his supervisor, his PhD supervisor. He never finished, but she was his supervisor in Australia. She's from Australia, Perth. The point is, here we are, after we had all met online, we're celebrating. We went out for dinner in this place called The Viking. And here is the hands-on workshop where teachers are teaching as a way to learn. All of these teachers... We're interested in teaching online because that, oh, there you are. Thank you, Karima. That's the guy, Kurt Bunk. He just has a book out and it's free. His book is free. Uh, you can take a look at it. You can download it. You can also buy it, of course. Oh, there's Ludmilla. Ludmilla just came in. Hi, Ludmilla. I was just telling them about what we did in the fitting room. I hope that wasn't embarrassing, but it's human. It's very, very human. So, what we get online is the freedom to teach and learn with technology in and out of school. Freedom, the freedom to explore. 
because the only way to explore is with technology unless you want to go in the woods and walk around or you know walk around the world I mean what are we gonna explore are there any new countries that we can explore if there are some places that you'd like to physically explore I don't think so right everything's been explored more or less so today we're in the terrain of the internet and that's where we explore and we have full freedom because the internet is free it's free and it's a place where we can get all the information that's out there because people are sharing it's a very human you know thing to do is to share because we care we want to be with other people it's lonely to be alone it is this is the best of of all the times that we've had well we'll have better ones I'm sure but it's a great time to live I don't remember who said it that she's so happy to be around because she doesn't have to go to libraries she can learn so if you're passionate about learning and I think every being is this is the place to be it's the internet that connects the world and think about it and here we are on WizIQ connecting and why are we connecting why are we here I mean think about it why are you here is anyone happy if you're happy give me a thumbs up if you're not happy right now give me a thumbs down are you happy remember what I said at the beginning we are different but we have one thing in common we all want to be happy we all want to be happy we're not gonna look at the other things but if you're interested this is the book it's called you can be happy no matter what by Richard Carlson a psychologist PhD amazing book we can all be happy and we can all do whatever we want if we're positive all right so we are connecting and we're all happy look at these kids look at them look at our new generation aren't they beautiful and what do you think they're doing look at their faces what are they doing it's kind of unusual that they're using the mouse right because in this generation the mouse is probably gonna go out I think but that's right look at them look at them. look how they're focused their minds what's happening to their minds you know what's happening to their minds the same thing that's happening to your mind do you know that your mind is becoming like their minds so what do they have in common what kind of minds do they have curious open anything else learning and exploring expanding who said that sue expanding that's the key expanding that's right you're all right they're expanding their minds and do you know that our minds or brains whatever you want to call it is very very plastic in other words it's fluid you can change your mind and your mind is so flexible by using new skills your mind is actually expanding it is and this has been tested through MRI do any of you know what MRI is besides the fact that it's really really expensive so you need a lot of money to do research all right so we know how valuable hello Emma how valuable it is this is the book it's called the emotional life of your brain and the research this is 2013 I've been spreading the word about this book I carry it where I go so it can touch other people there it is if you missed it the oh thank you very much uh, Theodora that's the guy that's Kurt Bunk great the emotional life of your brain is by Richard J Davidson a psychologist 
and psychiatrist, in fact. And he um, did re he's been doing research for years, exactly with Mila, on the plasticity of our brain. And there are amazing stories here. And I've told some of these stories to people. I'm not going to go into them. But there's proof that our minds change depending on the, tech, the different skills that we use. So if you're using technology, whether the mouse or whatever, your brain is opening up and these skills are changing it. So think about that. Think of older people because they're using it for older people too so that they can. Their brains do not dry up, basically. All right, so we have the capability. So use it. Use it. Open up because that's what it's all about. The world is open. Open those doors. Teach online. If you feel uncomfortable at the beginning, that's wonderful. Somebody said the other day, the discomfort and feeling nervous is a, the first stage of learning. The first stage, that's how she sees it. She says, every time I go into the classroom and I feel nervous, or, you know, many of us do, especially if you're teaching to your peers. She says, I tell myself, oh, you're learning. That's good. That feeling is learning. So whatever you tell yourself, and this is a bit more of what the book is about, whatever you tell your brain, and also with this one, you can be happy no matter what. Whatever you tell your brain is what it's doing. I was coming, I was driving today, and I was dead tired on my way home. I really just wanted to sleep, but I was driving. So what do you do when you're driving and you're dead tired? Tell me. I mean, I'm sure it's happened to you. What do you do or when you're walking and you're dead tired? What do you do? What happens in your mind when you're dead tired, but you can't, you can't sleep? What do you, what do you, you keep, yeah, you go, you can't go to sleep. You may daydream, but what goes on in your head? What are you focused on? <laughs> that's very good, Mrs. Uh, Hida. That's great, Mustafa. That's great. That's uh, yeah, yeah, exactly, Brian. Well, what I noticed that I focus on, I'm so tired. I'm so tired, and I would be continuously say, "Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. I gotta wake up. I'm so tired." You know, and you sing and you think, but but you're coming from, "I'm so tired. I'm so tired," and then you're trying to stay. Awake, right? But you keep saying, I'm so tired. Of right. So I tried something different today because it never worked so far. Today, I decided that I wasn't going to go in there. I was going to say, I am awake. I'm awake. I And I kept saying that. I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm so awake. I'm, and I'm driving. I'm so awake. I, you know, I mean, if anybody heard me, they'd think, well, this lady is nuts. But, you know, today you can talk to yourself in the car because they think you're talking to someone on the cell phone. So it's legitimate. Yeah, I was drinking coffee. Get the coffee. That's right, Lopez. It's not that you convince yourself. Your brain picks it up. Whatever you t tell your brain is what it, is what it you know, takes um, on. So if you tell your brain, I'm tired, it's going to go even more tired. If you tell your brain you're awake, it's going to wake up. And it works. Trust me, it works. And this is what this guy does in his uh, research. A lot of experiments in the MRI, through the MRI. All right. With babies, too, by the way, you'll find it really interesting. So tell yourself, I'm open. I'm open. If you feel nervous, tell yourself, I'm happy. Or... Anything that'll keep you going. So, first of all, we have to be open to ourselves. We have to give ourselves space and a lot of love. And it's not being selfish at all. Valuing yourself is actually going to help everybody around you. Everyone's going to benefit if you care for yourself. Everyone. So the first step is telling yourself that you're good. The next step is seeing others for the good that's in them. And that's what we come to. If you have moods, don't judge anybody if you're in a bad mood. And if you do 
you'll start having really bad thoughts. Don't take them seriously. Don't pay attention to your thoughts when you're in a bad mood because you're not going to go very far. All right, so look at others and think about them. They want exactly what you want. They're different, but they want to be happy. So think about that. We're all the same. And this is where we're going. We're going to make a difference to people around the world. And what do you think these people, these kids are doing with their teachers? Any ideas what they're doing? What are they looking at? What are they looking at? They're looking at a video. Exactly. They're looking at something that's being produced far away online. This is a class with a visitor that is presenting online. You can visit classes like that through WizIQ, you get, or through Skype, or through any other means. You can join other classes. How many of you have joined other classes virtually? In other words, the class was face-to-face, -face and you were at a distance, and you were coming through the internet. Anyone? Okay, we've got Anna Heat has. Anybody else? You have... Right. That's how we can all connect. Ludmilla and I have. I've come to her classes. She's cursed and not yet. All right. So this is what we can do. We can do this. It doesn't have to be only online with online. We can travel the world. We can go all over the world teaching in physical classes. And that's what's going to happen. Learning is not exclusive to one area. And I'm talking about blended learning, where they are in a physical classroom together, or physical space, and they're getting information online. That's blended. Another way is fully online, which is happening right now in this MOOC. So we've got the course management system. Okay, we're completely online. And we're getting these virtual classes, these real live classes. This was, this uh, image was created by Michael Power from Quebec in Canada. Michael developed this and he sent it to me. He says, Nelly, what do you think of this? I have never met Michael, but I know everything about his family, his son, his daughter. I know everything about the guy. Everything. And I mean everything. Everything about his personal life. But... He contacted me because he thought that he needed some input. So he's sharing this diagram. What do you think of this diagram? On campus, faculty-led instruction, traditional education, and the blended in the middle. And then on the right, you've got Jace's MOOC, where we're fully online, but we have the study at your own pace. You don't have to be here in real time combination. Okay, nice diagram, eh? It's online. You can get it anywhere. Just uh, Michael Power, 2008, Blended Learning. He called this BOLD. Any idea what BOLD stands for? Any ideas? Take a look at the words. See if you can do this. Ah, nice, Janet. Blended online development. Blended online learning. That's bull. Very good. Blended on. That's great. Look at these great ideas. That's great, Teresa. I owe a blended online learning. It's true. That's B-O-L, though. That's what I use, bull. If you look up bull, you'll find my name next to that. Very nice, Sue. Okay, lots of ideas. Right. Okay, so most of you would say blended online learning development. Actually, BOLD stands for, and you can look it up on the... He didn't develop this too much, which is unfortunate, but I think that this is something that we can develop because WizIQ and, and these MOOCs on WizIQ are a great example of blended online design. It's blended online because it's fully online. Blended online learning design. Okay, blended online learning design bowl. Anybody interested in developing this? Okay, we can continue the discussion 
in a course feed. I think it would be great. Yes, you do, Samir. Yes, definitely. Definitely. Uh, design and development are uh, interchangeable, and you can do that. Yeah, mathematics. All right, so what you can do is you can learn to blend and flip with technology, whether you're doing bold or whether you're doing uh, blended learning, but it's all web-based learning. Now, why is it called learning? Do we call what we do in the physical classroom learning? What do we call what we do in the physical classroom? And I always bring them stuff. We call it teaching, right? Do we call it learning? We call it teaching. We call it traditional classes. That's correct. Anything else that we call it? Teaching and learning. But you don't get e-teaching. You get e-learning. Online learning. Why is it learning? Blended learning. You call it the flipped class. You don't call it learning. Okay, but blended learning. Why? 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 Because that's where learning happens. Learning happens online. And I think this is a very appropriate way of thinking about learning. And anybody ever see this before? Notice anybody ever see this? All right. Yes, you have. All right. What? Um, is unusual in this uh, logo? What do you find unusual? Maybe more than one thing? What is kind of some... Yes, Tom. Tom noticed the word. Okay, IQ. All right. Caring for teachers. That's what I added. I'm talking about the inside logo. Yeah, but that you're right about that. Okay, I'm talking about... Uh, the logo and let me add this and this part I'm talking about all of this let's see if I can. okay I'm talking about all of that wizard that's right online partner all right okay the font yeah a lot of things here only twice Online twice. All right. Yes. Okay. Excellent. You see how observant you are? You're amazing. And that's what happens when we see things on the screen. I mean, think about it. Think about it. And this guy has researched it. Think about what's happening to your brain as you read off the screen. All right. So, yeah, the word partner. Okay, why is the word partner here? And it's not online education, it's education online. Okay, which is exactly, which is a bit different. Attention blinks, yes. So notice the partner. Okay, the partner. What does it mean? I can be a partner? In what way can I be a partner? You focus on the thing that asks us to. That's right, Lopez, and you don't see anything else generally. Teacher and student, exactly, Sue. Sue, wow, great. Exactly, exactly, yeah, exactly. We are all partners of learning, partners, because today, you know, I can be your teacher. Tomorrow, you're going to be my teacher. So we're actually partners in learning. We learn from one another, and that's what's different online. Partner, that's right, we're all partners. And that's the connection. We're here to partners in crime. Nevis, where is that? Where is that smiley that I always put when I say naughty things? I just love that. You know, I just love that. I saw, I saw somebody, this Leo friend of mine that I told you, I saw him going nuts today. He was going nuts. I don't have time. Dude, he, was, he was going nuts because he was in a bad mood. So weird things were coming here. And I said to him, Leo, I'm loving your bad mood today. I'm loving it. He put a smile. He just, he got rid of it in two seconds. Because it's great. It's absolutely great. Because we can connect in such ways. And then when we meet face to face, we allow ourselves to be more open than we would normally from my experience. Now look at this gal. There's the crown. 
That's right. But we be, exactly we learn from one another and we also change roles. When our students teach us, because we want them to teach, we want them to do exactly what we do. Notice the crown here. And this is something that I'd like to tell you about. As I told you, Ludmilla and I met in the chat box. Because you can connect on WizIQ. And WizIQ cares. They really care. I've been around since 2007, and I'll tell you uh, my, a bit of background here. I used Illuminate before. I uh, didn't like Illuminate. I used Adobe Connect. I used something called Interwise. I don't know if you guys have heard of Interwise. Anybody hear of Interwise? They're now owned by a, a company in the States. Interwise. It was developed in um, Australia, South Africans who moved around the world. Yeah, it was really nice. Uh, yeah, Coursera uses Collaborate today. I think they call it, they don't call it, they call it Collaborate. And I used uh, some other things that were around. Some of them cost money. But what I found difficult was, some were cheaper than others, what I found difficult was that I got, yeah, Collab, that's right, that I got no support, no support at all. You know, it's almost like Google. Uh, you know, today you can't get support from Google if something goes wrong. You just, no support at all. They didn't care what I wanted. I mean, I couldn't make any suggestions. I couldn't do anything. And as a teacher, I mean, these technology developers and programmers, they don't know anything about teaching. They're, they're focused on, you know, on other things. And WizIQ wanted to hear what I had to say. And I think I have it here. They wanted to hear what I had to say. And I had a lot to say. I wanted a lot of things to change that I wasn't happy with. One of the things that I wanted was Arabic. Okay, I wanted them to have Arabic as a language. Any ideas why Arabic? Any Anyone? Any ideas why Arabic? Let's see. Anyone? You lost voice? No. My voice is still there. I can see it going up and down. No idea. Nobody know why Arabic? It's a different language. You're right. Definite. But how is Arabic different from other languages? Anybody know? Why would it be necessary to have Arabic? Right, Kirsten. Yes. One of the oldest languages. Yeah. I don't know. Chinese too. Then Chinese came along. That's true too. That's true too. Uh, okay. The reason was right to left. What does right to left mean to you? Anybody know right to left? Notice the chat box. Where is the direction? Exactly. Exactly. Okay. You notice that you're writing from left to right. That's English, and most European languages are left to right. Of course, Chinese is up and down, and so on and so forth. But Hebrew, too, exactly, Rob. Hebrew and Arabic are both right to left. And that's what I wanted. You know, and I asked was IQ. I also asked Adobe and Illuminate. Illuminate first in 2005, 2004. 2004, I asked Illuminate to do that. And you know what they said? Sorry. We don't do that. We don't customize anything. So I asked WizIQ in 2007 or 2008. Within two weeks, two weeks time, I had Arabic. They had created a translation, not only of the WizIQ live class, because in those days it was just the WizIQ live class, but they created everything from right to left. Now, isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful? And that's what I'm after. I'm after, as a teacher, I want things customized for my students. And I want to be able to engage with my students in their language too. And I want everything to be authentic and fun. It has to be meaningful, so we have to have an environment. This is what WizIQ is doing with my face. That's what they're doing with my face. Why are they doing this to me? Jace, why are they doing this to me? Why are they putting me inside, <laughs> inside the internet? It's cute, eh? It's cute. They're fooling around. They're cute. They're paying back for all the problems that I caused them. 
yeah, they're 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 doing something really funny. You talk about famous Rob. I was really surprised when um, Kurt Bunk gave a keynote at the uh, Ed Media in Finland, and he goes like this. He says, "And we've got famous people like Nelly Deutsch, the famous, the number one expert on e-learning." And I thought, what is he talking about? You know, but you do, you get coverage and people to get to know you and, and they get all these titles that they give you. All right. So I give a course, a lot of courses, as uh, Jason mentioned on WizIQ. And one of the uh, latest courses, what the breakout rooms, this is what WizIQ does for their teachers. Because remember what I said before on WizIQ, teachers are kings and queens. They will support and help you market your courses and your ideas and so on. They're there for you. Look at this. Another class that I gave that was IQ is marketing and they, they're doing this. I didn't do a thing. I didn't do anything. And they're doing it with Jace's courses too, with the MOOCs and everything. And they're going to do it, do it for you as well. On Wiz IQ, it's a partnership. You can make a difference. And I keep saying this. You support. Don't be afraid of support. It's not the kind of support that you're used to. Not the kind of support that I was used to. This is beyond that. You can make a difference. Have you seen this page on WizIQ? There's a page called, How Can We Help You Today? You can add ideas and suggestions. Recent ones, popular. Look what they've got. And this is something that I asked for. I said, connect with teachers so that they can make a difference. And they did. Everything I asked for, Jace, everything I asked for, and I think Jace is one of the people that I asked for. Everything I asked for on WizIQ, I get. And it's been like that from the beginning. It's been like that from the beginning. And I think that this is something that we're not used to. We're not used to it. But the CEO of WizIQ is an educator. He loves educators, and that's what it's all about. It's about the organization. It's not me personally. And I just wanted to show you these are the languages that WizIQ now supports. You've got English, Hebrew, Portuguese, Spanish, Thai, Chinese, Russian, Arabic, French, Polish, and Czech so far. And others will come if you ask for them. WizIQ is a live online class like you see today. And that's what it started in 2007. But they've added LMS. And why did they add LMS? Because we asked for it. We said we want something more. I told them I love Moodle. As all of you know, how much do I love Moodle? How much? That's right, Nevis. We want more. I love Moodle. But there are a lot of, th I, I can't make a difference in Moodle. I mean, I know Martin Dogiamas, we're friends, but I can't make a difference. It's not instant. I like things done quickly. I mean, now, this is a now generation. We want things done now, and I love Moodle, but I want WizIQ to be better than Moodle. I want all the features of Moodle to be on WizIQ, and more, and more. All right, so those of you who know how much I love Moodle, know that when I say this, because I can make a difference here. And look at what you can do these days. It's an LMS. You can create a pay class, a private course, a MOOC, schedule a live class, create a test, add assignments. Add, it's got so much that you can do, but we want more and we want it better. Better. I want better. I want to have a webcam where I, you can see me like you would in real life. I want to have all of you inside this classroom. 64 of you, well, 63, right? I want you all in there with me. I mean, there's so much that I want and we want and we can get it step by step because they have a plan. They do have a plan and it, you know, they, they prioritize things. You are few. That's right, Renee. So let's get these problems together. Very good, Renee, because you can make a difference. WizIQ is not only like other, um, you know, Illuminate, Adobe, all the others do not have this.
first of all, great support. And secondly, partnership and a community. Where else do you have a community? You tell me. And we need this because we want to work together. And this is where you can do it. We can make a difference. There's a community and you can engage socially. That's the thing. And that's the beauty. We can make a difference together. And these are some of the things just to show you that I've been doing on WizIQ because I want to make a difference. I want to bring all the teachers around the world online. Everybody should be online so we can become one huge family of teachers and learners. And everybody is a teacher and everybody's a learner, right? We're all teachers. We're all sharing information these days. These are some of the conferences I just wanted to share with you. I started connecting online, C009, five years ago. It's still going. I had started Moodle MOOC in 2011. It's still going. And these are not about the technologies. They're only about connecting for instruction and learning. These are some of the upcoming ones uh, I'm doing with Ludmilla. Healthy and Sustainable Living MOOC. Moodle MOOCs. And it's not about the Moodle. It's about connecting for learning by learning different kinds of technologies so that our brains, and that's what I'm going back to this, so that our brains open up into other venues so that we can expand our minds. So it's not the what, it's the being together and learning together. So if you get frustrated, think of that. It's not about the what. It's about the being together. So here's the billboard. And where do you think this appears? Where do you think this appears? Anywhere. You saw the globe. Where does this just appear? This billboard. Where is it? Any ideas? Where is this? I extended, Brian. No idea, right? It's online. You can create this by going into generate billboard or generate anything. This is a, a word that I use a lot, generate. So you're right, you go to Google, and Google has changed, right, the search engine. You don't need to, uh, you just write it straight in your browser. You go into your browser, and you add generate. What do you want to generate? You can generate anything. Today I generated a code. What, does anybody see the code that I generated? You can generate codes. You can generate, not electricity, no, you cannot generate that. All right, I'm talking about, uh, yeah, you can generate anything. You want to generate a rubric, source code. You No, I generated a Q cord, a Q, um, for this class. That's right, QR codes. Exactly, Katya, exactly. You can generate anything. What would you like to generate? Just write it down. Not a generator. You don't want to generate. What do you want to generate? Generate means to create. Create online. So you go with, oh, that's wonderful, Emma. Uh, to do for that. That's right. What do you want to create? More money? Gener I, don't, I don't think so. That's not the kind of things. Only online. <laughs> online. You want to generate money? Try it. Try it. Write generate money. Generate writing. What kind of writing? Okay. So the word generate is super important online. Generate some kind of a technical program, okay, if you want to look for that. Generate graphics. Very good, Renee. That's the idea. Generate, well, resources too general. What do you want to generate? Anything that you want to generate, you can do online. Okay, just write generate whatever. Too broad. And that's it. I'd like to thank you. I took this yesterday before I gave the class. I mean, today. Today's class was postponed, right, from yesterday. So it was rescheduled. So I did this before I gave the class. I don't know if it's a good photo, but I did it on WizIQ. You can see live video stream. I don't think it's a good photo, but that it's me yesterday. I was dead tired, but all right. So let's lead from within. 
because that's how we can empower, first of all, ourselves and then our students, others, empowering teachers. Thank you, Jace. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. D. Is a work. Dr. N. Dr. D. Nellie, Nellie, my name is Nellie. You can call me what? Oh, you got so many my names. You, you're Dr. Me. Jigsaw, too. <laughs> Jigsaw. Dr. Jigsaw, but so many names. Yeah, but I'm not. <laughs> yes, Nellie. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. Thank so you. So inspirational. Well, and uh, I have to say, you know, everything, everything that. Uh, she she said about was IQ being a community is true and everything that she's uh, been doing and I'm trying to do too to make it even more of one uh, is is true and it's it's exciting to see that it happening you know more and more and this MOOC is a great example of a bunch of people teachers around the world different stages and levels with teaching online uh, really connecting with us and uh, with one another on this platform so that is really a wonderful thing and yeah so uh dr nelly one thing that is really really important is that all of the people in this MOOC are aware of the different offerings you have in whiz iq to learn more uh, about them so what's the best way for them to be able to easily see all of that where where should they go yeah i think the best Whose voice was that? Did you hear that? Yeah, I think I think the best place to go is um, into my organization account. I think for all. Yeah, there. I just added that. Is there a lot of? Yeah. No, I think I think, and, and this is for everybody. You know, um, your account on WizIQ is actually your e-portfolio you know that's where you should have everything and that's what that's your mirror it's your face that's where your courses appear jace can you add yours please that's where all you MOOCs appear your courses private public and everything it's all there so i i think that um if you look at it you'll see a list of all your courses and everything you do so it's not just about you but it's all that you do so there's another one yeah exactly if you go into Jace Jace have you taken a look at that oh, recently my. it's probably really really packed okay Oh, thank you, Adrian. That's so sweet of you to say that. Yeah, I shared my uh, bio. You know, I, I see whatever, what I wanted to explain to everyone, we're no different. That's why I want to go back to this. We're not different in, in what we want in life. We may have different ways of doing things and, you know, but, but we're basically the same in that we all want to be happy. We have moods that prevent us from a lot of things, but it's everything that I do, you can do. In other words, you can duplicate me. I mean, whatever I do online, you can follow me and do exactly the same, and I encourage you to do that. And I think Jace would say the same thing. I mean, I'm not going to rap like Jace. I'm not talking about, you know... Uh, Jace has <laughs> has something that you know most of us don't. I don't think anybody has what Jace has. Okay, let's put because it this you're because right. you're going to do it in your own way. I mean, yeah. I think I think that's that's yeah. that's what I'm inferring. You're saying it's not that you, you're going to copy her or copy me or copy anyone else here um, in terms of you know, the, our style. You're going. It's more like copy. It's more like just lear, just learning, lear, learning, learning by doing and learning by being around people that are just done more of it and what i've done is nothing compared to what dr nelly has done so there's different levels as far as how long we've been here uh online uh and, and the different skill sets we have so you know it is really important just to like she's saying just to to watch and do it because you bring your own your own style to it yeah i think that oh, i took that off um continue the chat okay i think that um in our own times, a lot of people have to go. Let's continue the chat. Jace, there, could you add the... Um, 
how to get your personalized teaching with was IQ. That looks interesting. Uh, Jace, can you add your um, the uh, the TO the MOOC so we can continue the discussions there? And uh, because there's a lot to discuss, I think that it's really important for you to realize that yeah yeah that we can work together and. Um, well, I think a great. If, I think I think this page, this class page, is a great place uh, because because your slides, because what you're talking about, uh, you know, connects so much with, with these ideas. So definitely, uh, you know, chat chat on this page uh, on Dr. Nelly's page. I'm going to put a discussion question in there that I'm going to ask of us. We're going to put a discussion question up, uh, and then I'm going to make a quiz uh, and put that up as well. Oh, Thank you so much, everyone, for coming to see Dr. Nelly. <laughs> and uh, be on be on the be on the lookout for more stuff from Dr. Nelly and me in the future on with IQ. We're gonna team up and do more stuff. Thank you. Thank Jay. you so much. Bye. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you. I'll see. I'm gonna I'm gonna put some new course new classes up. Gonna a bunch more classes up for our final week next week, and I'll see all of you tomorrow. Thanks very much. Have a good night. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.